Stan Gibalisco here. I am going to describe very, in very short terms how a resistance capacitance low pass and high pass filter works. The basic concept in the most elementary possible terms. In an RC resistance capacitance network uh, you can have various types of frequency responses low pass, high pass, band pass, band reject, peak, notch, all kinds of things just like you can with inductance capacitance or LC circuits. Uh, but inductors are kind of hard to deal with in today's micro miniature electronics world whereas resistors and capacitors can actually be fabricated onto integrated circuit chips. Uh, so that's why RC filters have gained favor in recent decades. Recent meaning, meaning with respect to my life which of course extends for centuries. In any case the low pass and the high pass filter are the most elementary forms of frequency sensitive filter. As their names imply, the low pass filter tends to allow low frequency signals through with ease and discriminate against higher frequency signals. The cutoff frequency depends on the values of the resistance and the capacitance. The high pass filter, on the other hand, tends to discriminate against the low frequencies and let the higher frequencies through more easily the response curves um, look something like this if you graph frequency on a horizontal axis and amplitude well a okay on the vertical axis a low pass response looks something like this and a high pass response looks something like that and the cutoff frequency is the frequency at which cutoff frequency F is the frequency at which the voltage of the signal is 0 0.707 or 1 over the square root of 2 times uh, where the actual signal voltage is 0 0.707 times its maximum voltage 0 0.7 07 or 70.7 percent of the input signal voltage gets through to the output. That is the cutoff frequency. The low pass filter cutoff frequency might be right about here and the high pass right about there. That uh, 0 0.707 voltage figure represents three decibels down with respect to the maximum response the formula for determine that frequency is relatively simple F equals 1 divided by 2 pi RC where the frequency F is expressed in Hertz the resistance R in ohms and the capacitance C in farads this formula and pi is the circle constant roughly equal to 3.14159. Notice that the entire 2 pi RC makes up the denominator of this fraction. Uh, this formula will also work for resistances in megaohms and capacitances in microfarads because millions cancels out with millionths. In a low-pass filter, uh, the capacitor tends to short frequencies to ground more and more easily as the frequency rises. So more and more of the low frequency signal gets through as you increase the frequency, the signal less and less gets to the output because the capacitor shorts more and more of it out. In the high-pass filter, the exact opposite thing happens more and more of the signal gets through as it increases in frequency uh, and as the frequency goes down the capacitor tends to choke off or discriminate against those frequencies um, so the resistor is essential um, it, it, because it gives 
definition to the frequency roll-off uh, level, what, what level this 3 dB point will be at. Without the resistor, if this were an open circuit, of course, nothing would get through. If this were an open circuit, everything would get through. If this were a short circuit, everything would get through. And if this were a short circuit, this resistor, nothing would get through. So you have to have a finite resistance, finite non-zero resistance, and a finite non-zero capacitance. So that's how uh, RC low-pass and high-pass filters work. They're the simplest possible RC filters that you can have. Um, you can cascade stages, you can combine them to get band pass, band rejection, sharp peak, sharp notch. Anything you want can be found uh, at this restaurant. <laughs> Stangibalisco signing off. Well, almost anything. Except hot dogs with ketchup. I, I hate Oh, God. Don't even, t don't even go there. Stangibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.